Welcome. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to do a combined constructions drawing. This drawing you will find on page 43 of the Grade 8 Technology and Engineering Graphics and Design Workbook. When we start a drawing like this, it is very important that we understand what is asked. On the right hand side, you will find a 2D schematic view with all the dimensions given to you of the model that you need to construct. Below it, you will find the question in text. Let's read the question. Copy the given figure onto the drawing space provided. Start at point P. Make sure of your constructions, accuracy and line work. All constructions must be shown and draw to a scale of 1 to 1. On your left hand side, you will find the drawing space. There provided to you a starting point P as mentioned in the question. To the right of that is the vertical center line that you need to use in your drawing. Start this drawing by placing your ruler perfectly horizontal and aligned with point P. Draw a light construction line that stretches all the way from point P to the other side of the center line as indicated here. Measure the distance of 21 millimeters as required in the schematic and draw a solid line from point P that is 21 millimeters in length. Continue this drawing by aligning your ruler with the center line. Measure the height of 35 millimeters as indicated in the 2D schematic. This will give us the height of the base of our model. Draw a light construction line at the height of 35 millimeters as shown here. Now you will measure 40 millimeters to the left and 40 millimeters to the right of the center line that represents the 80 millimeters that we need as indicated in the schematic. Place your set square at point P and at the end of the line as indicated and draw a solid line to represent the diagonal line shown in the schematic. At this stage of your drawing, you will realize that you need your distance to the right hand side of your baseline. You achieve this by measuring the distance from your center line back to point P. Carry this distance over to the right hand side of your baseline. Place a dot at this distance. Make use of your set square and draw a diagonal line that is solid from the point to the end of the line as shown here. Now you will measure the 21 millimeters that you see on the right hand side of your schematic onto the baseline. This is 21 millimeters and it's a solid line. The next phase of our drawing require that we draw the 45 millimeter arc at the bottom of our drawing. In order to do this, we need to make use of the dimensions given on the 2D schematic. You will notice there's a 20 millimeter height from the top line of our base to the pinnacle of the arc. Measure this on your drawing down on the center line. From here, you will measure the radius of 45 millimeters and place a dot on the bottom end of the center line. Now you make use of your compass, stretch the compass to 45 millimeters and draw a solid arc that touches the 21 millimeter base lines you have drawn earlier. The next phase of the drawing require that you understand how to construct a pentagon. If you do not know how to construct a pentagon, I recommend that you acquire the tutorial that demonstrates the construction of a pentagon. Because the base length of your pentagon is 50 millimeters as indicated, it is important that you measure from the center line 25 millimeters to the left and right on the top line of our base. This is equal to the base length of 50 millimeters as shown in the schematic. Once you have constructed the pentagon, you can now draw the solid lines which represent the edges of your pentagon as shown here.
Congratulations! You have successfully completed the tutorial of the Grade 8 Workbook, page 46.